Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mike Catalfamo. I'm the sales engineer here at eBridge Connections. I want to thank you for joining me today to um, take a look at our new integration for SAP ECC, formerly uh, R3. And I'm going to start off with a brief introduction on eBridge. If uh, you're not already familiar with, with us, I want to just give you a bit of a background and then we'll look at our approach to uh, universal integration and we'll follow up with some questions and answers uh, at the end. Uh, this should be a relatively uh, short webinar. I know we've allocated 30 minutes. This is probably going to run around uh, 15 minutes or so, so I'll keep it brief. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them through the webinar or uh, there will be some contact information at the end. And please feel free to reach out to us however uh, you're most comfortable, and we'd be happy to um, speak with you about your specific uh, integration needs. All right, just a little bit of background on eBridge. Uh, eBridge has been in business since 1993, and our core competency is in data integration. Um, we support a, a number of accounting and ERP packages, and we were founded on doing EDI integration, and uh, we primarily focused uh, on this SMB market, small, medium-sized business market, uh, believing that uh, you, know, you, you don't necessarily need to be an enterprise level um, co um, company to uh, be able to afford or uh, have access to integration technology. As I said, we uh, focus solely on integration, meaning we do not uh, deploy uh, ERP systems uh, or host them or support them uh, beyond the integration itself. Uh, we uh, worked with all types of other inter enterprise uh, products, including SAP Business One, which we've done, I believe, for the past four or five versions, uh, Sage 500 ERP, Microsoft Dynamics AX, Epicor. So uh, while the SAP ECC integration is relatively new for us, integration itself and integration with enterprise packages is not new, and we have a lot of in-house expertise. Today I want to talk about how we can integrate all types of data with uh, SAP, uh, including EDI, CRM, a web store, and other uh, e-commerce marketplace data, and really anything you want by means of um, an open API that we have for our integration platform, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, I should also mention that um, we have a staff of about 45 integration experts that uh, are all in-house, and we build, support, and maintain everything here, and uh, we're able to provide a complete integration solution, including any uh, custom, uh, custom work or custom integrations uh, you need to accommodate any, anything you've done with your database that might be uh, outside of the box. So we're going to look at uh, eBridge's approach to integration and why we call it universal integration. Uh, a few things it allows us to do is uh, deploy new connectors. So uh, you can look at those as your trading partners or uh, external uh, customers or entities that you want to work with. Uh, our particular architecture allows us to offer unlimited transactions with no uh, revenue-based fees or uh, volume or data size uh, transaction fees, which is a little bit different than the EDI world where you have uh, this concept of charging by the kilo character for moving data. Uh, we don't have any of that, and uh, our customers uh, appreciate that they can budget uh, for their monthly expenses or their annual expenses without um, worrying about getting a, a variable uh, bill from their EDI partner uh, for moving data around. Uh, we're going to look at how we've uh, set up the solution so that any changes by your external partners are all included in the solution. Uh, we have a lot of experience in-house connecting uh, to uh, close to 40 different accounting and ERP systems uh, so far over uh, those 20 years that we've been in business. We've had to accommodate all types of business models, um, including uh, manufacturing, retail, uh, drop shipping, uh, you know, uh, working with 3PLs, and all types of different uh, delivery models. So uh, we have a solution that is very flexible, yet uh, very uh, turnkey in some aspects. So I like to say that you get the best of a uh, out-of-the-box solution 
the convenience of that, uh, along with the uh, flexibility of a homegrown custom solution, uh, but without the headache of uh, developing and, and uh, paying for a, a full point-to-point uh, -point custom built integration. Uh, I did mention that you can connect to anything through our universal integration portal, and again, we'll look at that a little bit more uh, in a few moments. This diagram uh, depicts uh, at a high level what our the integration architecture looks like. Uh, on the uh, left-hand side, we have all of your external uh, entities, your marketplaces, your ADI partners, your business systems, your uh, web-based or online CRM applications, and really anything that you might want to integrate uh, with your uh, SAP system. So what we've done is we built a integration platform that sits on our servers that manages the connections to all of these different entities based on uh, that particular uh, entity's uh, data formats and their, uh, their uh, preferred communication methods. And we house that all on our servers and we maintain that on your behalf. So if your EDI partner or your web store enhances the data feeds that they make available for any particular business transaction, we make it uh, the change once on ePortal, and all of our customers who are running that connector benefit from that change. And uh, that's very handy. Um, in a few moments, we'll look at how we can do that and uh, as well support upwards of 40 different ERP systems. And uh, it's, it's not, uh, it probably won't be a surprise to many people how we accomplish that, but it's essentially, uh, the standardization of the data feeds and the data formats as we process them from the marketplace and convert them and make them available to the ERP side, we transform them into a common document format. Um, currently, our integration with SAP today is done by way of the IDOC format, uh, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with. Um, to date, no one has asked us to take it beyond the IDOC format and into SAP. Um, because you know most people have an SAP partner and an integration or, or kind of a, you know application specialist that they uh, or you would utilize in order to uh, complete that, the rest of that um, integration beyond the IDOC format. So currently we support both the XML and CSV or flat file um, rather format for IDOC. And uh, we are happy to explore integrations uh, into SAP that, that happen a little more tightly. But um, to date, we haven't had that request. Uh, but that's something we're looking forward to doing in the near future. All right. This particular diagram uh, really just gives you a visual of some of the connection types that we can actually transact through the universal integration platform and communicate back uh, to SAP. And uh, you can see here, I'll just run through really quickly, the first bucket, the Magento, Volusion, ASP, Miva, and so on, represent uh, your own branded web store uh, that you might be running. The next bucket, of course, is uh, also kind of online uh, marketplaces, but they're not uh, in your control, and that represent, is represented by the likes of eBay and Amazon and a few others. Uh, Walmart and Home Depot would represent our hundreds of EDI connectors that we uh, currently have, and we're adding those, all the new ones, all the time. And usually, as long as we get the EDI specifications from the partner, uh, we will add those at no charge uh, because those are leverageable and we can reuse those. So we're happy to build and uh, offer those uh, at no charge if we don't have the connector yet. The next section uh, represents a CRM integration with Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Salesforce and some others. And finally, we have a build a connection uh, using the eBridge API. So if there's something that uh, you need to connect to that isn't on our list or we haven't built a connector for or maybe don't plan on building a connector for, it could be a, a proprietary web-based application, uh, we can give you specifications for our integration portal and you can build that and we can then pick up the ball from uh, ePortal and transact that uh, through and produce the IDOC format for you so that you can integrate it into SAP. So uh, we want to be your one-stop shop for integration, and uh, hopefully uh, we have all of the bases covered and are able to do that. 
so that you don't need to uh, go somewhere else if you, you want something besides EDI or besides Web Store. At this point, I'd like to actually log into ePortal and show you uh, very briefly what that looks like. It's not a mandatory destination for you on a daily basis. As we receive data from one of these marketplaces or, or channels, we're automatically processing the data uh, through our integration platform and we're making it available uh, to SAP via the IDOC format. And most people want that process completely and fully automated and uh, so that, you know, that data shows up in SAP. Uh, I'm primarily looking at focusing on orders today. So uh, as you get new orders from your, your sales channels, they'll automatically show up in SAP as new orders for you to fulfill. So that's of course, just one workflow that we can support. So let me head over to ePortal really briefly. And you access ePortal through our corporate homepage, eBridgeConnections.com. And we're going to click on Client Login in the top right corner. And I'm logging in with an account that says Demo, but this is a live environment. The main area of interest today is going to be under transactions. I mentioned that you don't have to come in here on a daily basis, but when you do, the transactions area is where you would uh, be going most frequently. All right. Along the left-hand side, you can see mailbox folders that say inbox and outbox and some other uh, combinations of those. Uh, essentially, uh, these folders contain your business documents. So the inbox would have everything coming into your company from the outside world. Uh, so say orders coming in from uh, your EDI partner or web store. Uh, the outbox would have everything coming from SAP going back out to the marketplace. And uh, this is really a way for you to audit the data going back and forth uh, between SAP and your external systems. Uh, but again, it's not a destination for you on a daily basis because as uh, data is processed through ePortal, it's automatically passed on uh, to the next uh, component in the chain, whether that be uh, to the uh, IDOX uh, process or whether it be back out to the marketplace. Um, so if you look at the senders in, in the middle of the screen here, you can see that there's data from a number of different sources. Uh, Interspire Big Commerce is a, uh, web store, uh, you know, a branded web store that you might be running. Uh, so is Magento and Web Shop Manager. Uh, Amazon, of course, is uh, Amazon, and uh, you would be able to uh, pull orders down, both uh, part of their FBA and non-FBA program that stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, and of course, we have EDI and uh, CRM here as well. Uh, very briefly, I just want to illustrate the, this universality of the platform and what that means, uh, it's not just a buzzword. If you click on the uh, document in view uh, that we have here, we're going to see the raw format that we get from the marketplace. And in this case, this is EDI data from Target. Uh, if we click on something else, uh, say Magento, this is data from that particular web store in its own uh, proprietary uh, format. What we do is, we process that and we convert it to a standard XML format that we call orders. So uh, we know what type of document we're receiving from the marketplace and we make that uh, available uh, and we repackage it into a uh, new structure with all of the same data that we are getting from the marketplace. So we're not throwing anything away, we're just repackaging it and we're presenting it into this XML format. Um, if we close that, and we look at the target, which was EDI data, you'll see that the structure is identical. So this means that once we do an integration uh, to SAP for a particular transaction type, we'll, we'll just focus on orders. Uh, so once we uh, go through and implement, say, orders from Home Depot to SAP, uh, you can add something completely different to your account, being a web store or a CRM application, and you'll be able to transact that data into uh, SAP uh, the same way without having to involve eBridge to set up a new integration uh, point. We just add that connector to your ePortal account here, 
and you'll be able to start processing orders uh, the same way um, that, that you would for the, uh, the initial connection that we set up for you. There is some specific functionality to EDI. I won't get into it. This isn't really an EDI webinar, but you can see that the EDI documents have uh, this status that says acknowledged. Uh, if anybody wants to know more about uh, the EDI uh, specific processing of the platform, uh, please feel free to reach out and we can uh, do a one-on-one -on -one, um, demo or conference call uh, to, to touch on that in more detail. That's essentially uh, ePortal, and uh, you know you can sort and filter by various criteria here. So if I just want to see data from a particular partner or marketplace, I can select that as a filter in the dropdown, and you can see the counters next to the mailbox folders change, indicating the number of transactions in each folder based on that particular uh, filter criteria. And we have that as well uh, by document type, so invoices, orders, uh, shipping notifications, and uh, for anybody who is EDI savvy, you'll recognize these transactions by uh, their EDI document number as well. So uh, what happens um, now is that this uh, document out, this, this uh, proprietary XML structure is passed on to uh, the process on, uh, on premise on your side, and uh, if I bring the uh, diagram up again here. So uh, it sits in your mailbox folder uh, until the process uh, on premise requests any new documents. And uh, that's done by means of a tiny agent that gets uh, put on your side that is able to connect to your specific ePortal account with your credentials and so on, asks for new data, brings it down and automatically repackages it into the IDOC format that, uh, that uh, we put in place for you. And obviously once we complete all of the testing and make sure that it's producing uh, good IDOC uh, data for you, uh, we can turn that on to automate uh, according to whatever schedule makes the most sense uh, for you and we can process data uh, back and forth uh, by, that, uh, by that means. And because uh, to date, we've only processed the data to the IDOC format. Um, I've purposely omitted the arrow that connects IDOC to SAP because uh, right now that's something that our customers are picking up and running with. So, um, but I, we have had a few requests to integrate it tightly into SAP, and that's something that we're uh, currently exploring. So, uh, it's likely that by the time uh, you reach out to us, we'll have that uh, full integration uh, with SAP. But uh, it, it's a bit of a process. So. Um, I think that's uh, just about everything I wanted to cover for the moment. Uh, if there's any questions, please feel free to submit them uh, through the chat window uh, of the webinar. And uh, if I don't, uh, we, we don't have any questions currently, so either I did a really good job or I've confused the heck out of you. And uh, in which case, uh, you know, feel free to reach out and uh, give us a call. Uh, I have the contact information up on the screen. We have our toll-free number, of course, 1-800-755-6921. You can reach us at sales at ebridgesoft.com. Uh, ebridgeconnections.com is our website. And you can uh, build a uh, connection blueprint by selecting your uh, ERP package, uh, SAP, as well as the different marketplace entities that we have connectors for and that serves as a good starting point for understanding what your integration needs are, and uh, we can uh, give you a call and discuss that in more detail. And of course, you can follow us on Twitter at eBridge Connect. So it looks like uh, there aren't any questions, so I want to thank everybody for your time today. Uh, went a little bit over the, uh, the 15 minutes I had estimated. Hopefully this uh, gives you a better insight into eBridge Connections as a company, and how we might be able to help with your integration needs. And I encourage you to reach out and uh, give us a shout so that we can discuss uh, things in a little more detail uh, specific to uh, you or your customers' needs. And I, on behalf of eBridge Connections, want to thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike Catelfamo. I'm the technical sales engineer. And hopefully we get a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one in the future. Take care.